Hi, everyone. Thanks so much for stopping by. The thing that is most un misunderstood um, about a camera, and not just a camera, in general, when someone's taking an image and you're looking at the image, often it's just an image. Like you don't know if they're close or if they're zoomed up or what the size of the object is or how far the object is. Well, look how uh, this object going by, okay, is in size. And look that I'm using um, my camera Nikon and I'm zoomed up. You can almost see the whole sphere, okay? Well, you want to see the size of the birds at this zoom up rate? Look at it. I mean, if I was to see a bird go by, and unless it was very, very far away, um, I wouldn't see it for sure. Like the birds in the yard were going to be gigantic. They'll be see-through. If you experiment with that uh, upon zooming in your yard, you can see it pretty quickly. And that's the size of the birds in the sky, which are, by the way, high up overhead. I can't see the details of the ducks going by like that. But with the camera, that's how close we are. So when something comes into focus while I'm using the camera and I'm out over a thousand millimeters zoom, well, say to yourself, if something comes into focus, it's got to be far away. Nothing close is going to come into focus, especially not if I'm focused on the sun, right? Uh, other objects that are appearing will be blurry. Um, a bird that goes by the camera, you could see a, a very thin see-through line. Light bends around them. Literally light bends around them and all the light that's being brought in by the sun um, excludes any mosquitoes, flies and stuff. Think of it, zoomed out at a thousand kilometers. People actually believe that you'll see a fly. If you see a fly when you're zoomed out at 1,000 kilometers, okay, I mean, sorry, 1,000 times zoom, okay, and you see a fly appear in your video, you're pretty effing good because you went and got a fly probably about six streets down and saw it go by. But that's how it is. Anyways, long story short. Yes, this is the sun on March uh, 28th. I'm up this morning waiting for the sun to rise. Scary. There's, it's just, it doesn't happen, right? It just really doesn't happen. The sun is extremely dangerous. It's going to spit something out again. Guys, we're waiting for that CME. It either hit last night or it's going to hit today, right? And there's already another one that I believe is going to shoot out right after. If not, how come? Look at the size of them. The size of that spot, both those spots are the uh, bigger than some of the spots in the past that have, uh, and I say in the past, from last year to now, um, they were shooting out CMEs, usually a lot bigger, but now and recently the, the CME in February or the beginning of March, either one, it showed, um, it didn't show the signs that there was going to be a, um, a coronal mass ejection or even a solar flare, a smaller sunspot, very concerning. And of course, the flux is very high. The energy is very high from the sun. Well, I was up this morning um, early enough again, trying to get the sun. I'm waiting for it now. Uh, right now, it's 9:38 here, where I'm finishing up on this video. I wanted to add also today's sun in the video, but it doesn't matter. We're going to add some clouds on the moon coming out of the craters. Eric Sentinel, brother, Spitfire Sentinel wanted to see one of those videos, and I'm going to post it here for him, buddy. Take a look at the video I'm going to post um, today near the end, the clouds on the moon inside of the craters. Eratosthenes is where the crater um, is really pushing out. Either it's outgassing. Could it be outgassing? A lot of you are giving me suggestions. Um, Oxygen-filled smoke was a beautiful one that I heard, which comes down to the same. I believe there's an atmosphere, the same with what I'm saying, because I believe there's an atmosphere on the moon. I believe there is oxygen. Well, first of all, it's been confirmed it's just that the level of oxygen should be lower but i don't believe that it's inside of the geocorona of earth the moon and it has uh, oxygen extending it by thousands and thousands of miles so here's a look at just uh um look at that the sunspot just a couple of days ago i mean this is pretty incredible Did something go by real fast you we wouldn't see it the objects going by real fast you have to really slow them down so, how are the UFOs hiding themselves on the surface without anyone seeing them? It's impossible. Well, there's hazes, smokes, um, whether it be natural or not. Take a look at the 
clouds that are inside of the crater. We're coming up there. I just wanted to, um, maybe some of you just got here and haven't seen a lot of my videos. Look around, please. I show the surface. You want to see the real surface? Blurs and all. The real shebang. That's right beside Aristarchus Crater, and that's what it looks like, the shebang. That's what it looks like. Seriously, that's what it looks like. Not only one light, we're seeing them lift off from the same area. Right off the bat, I should have been this, well, maybe not me, but this info should be all over the place. Everyone's looking for UFO proof. What about smoke proof? <laughs> if you think that's smoke, that's not a problem. But then the whole bloody uh, planet or moon would be on fire, right? Because there's no way in hell you're going to see all that smoke. There's smokes and hazes there. You guys don't see anything. But look underneath. There are objects leaving. There's machines. There's UFOs taking off. And it's right in front of our faces. It's not even hiding. They're not even hiding it. It's inside of the, the smokes and hazes. Eratosthenes crater. What do you think of that setup? If you don't think that's a setup, there's a definite problem. Stop believing all the lies that they're telling you. Ejecta my ass. Ejecta doesn't build structures. There it is on the surface light lighting up under the hazes. Hundreds of examples that I was able to capture this. There they are filtered on the right and not filtered on the left. And when I say filter, it's just an inversion. But I have lots to say about this. This could be a real uh, evidence um, of the source for the moon's atmosphere outgassing. The release of these gases, if this is outgassing, from the lunar interior usually is due to radioactive decay. Outgassing events may also occur during moon quakes. After being released, they say the lighter gases escape into space almost immediately. Outgassing replenishes the tenuous atmosphere. But maybe it's clouds and maybe it's going over all the craters because I think there's a bit too much outgassing going on here in Eratosthenes Crater. This is, by the way, just at the end of the Apennine Mountains and it's where the um, surface starts to lower for the first time at the end of the Apennine Mountains, my friends. And that gives us a sign of a lot of clouds either coming from the mountains. It doesn't mean it's outgassing. But I don't believe it. Those are clouds going over all the craters. If not, there's a hell of a lot of outgassing. But does outgassing cause this? Does it cause a light to appear on the surface and then dim itself out when you know it's not even an explosion? <laughs> but when you see all these things before hearing about the outgassing, that large straight platform, I believe, that is very close to that towering object, which it is towering, and boy, is it ever tall. I'm going to show you a couple of quick angles here. That object, we have no idea what it is. If it's a natural formation, it sure is high off of the surface. We see things lying down here. That object could be hundreds of feet into the air. Well, what the hell could it be? And it just so happens that right beside that area where I found that structure, there's another platform straight uh, surface, which is pretty wide, probably about 20, 30 kilometers wide. For the lie on the moon and on many other planets to remain hidden, I believe there was a lie integrated into science. As we, on top of it, know that science is quite clearly just a theory. Um, you see that platform object? It's right beside that towering object, and it's a long line that goes all the way and reaches. You can see that uh, towering object there. So I don't jump on everything they say, right? And NASA, for them to be able to keep a lie going with hundreds or thousands of scientists looking at the moon, this is why people are understanding. They go, how, how can everyone not see this? No, everyone's seeing it, but the explanation that was given to professional scientists or that it's just this or it's just that. I don't care what anybody says. I'm using common sense. When I know they're not ever talking about this towering object in the southern highlands, which I've showed quite clearly where it was, um, other objects over to the left there, you can see the construction. Right, what is this, guys? Went by in the sky as I was filming up into the Milky Way, straight up into the Milky Way, and we see this object, which 
doesn't look very far away, so maybe it's something flying through the air. We know there's no bugs here yet, so... I hope you appreciated uh, having a chance to see what they call outgassing. I've never seen a video up on the internet. Thanks for the support to this channel, and thanks for subscribing. Oh, Billy, 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 Cause disclosure's coming soon Disclosure's coming soon